Hi, my name is Tim Desai from Cohesity's product marketing team. And I'm Siddharth from the product management team. And we're here to talk about Smart Files. Smart Files is an end-to-end, -end, fully integrated solution for unstructured data management, including files as well as objects. When we talk about the key values that a modern data management solution needs to deliver, what we hear from customers typically falls into three different categories, multi-cloud simplicity, intelligent data management, and active cyber defense. We're going to focus on multi-cloud simplicity. So I think it's well understood that organizations are facing rapidly rising costs for infrastructure and resources due to the massive increase in data volume, which shows no signs of uh, letting up. And one solution to that problem is to introduce multi-cloud simplicity into the environment. But that's not always so easy. So what Sid and I are going to do is talk about the top challenges with respect to multi-cloud, and then Sid's going to talk about how smart files can solve those problems. So Sid, the first problem I wanted to talk about is silo-based complexity. Sure. And unstructured data tends to be stored in multiple silos on-premises and in the cloud, and those silos tend to be based on different technologies. And before the rate of data growth became so out of control, it was a relatively straightforward process to scale those architectures. But now, due to the massive data volume, the frequency of upgrades is so fast that it's become really complex and expensive and difficult. Yep. And then along the way, it's, it's easy to lose visibility and control of your data, and that can introduce compliance risk. Sure. So what does Smart Files do to relieve silo-based complexity? That's a great point, and the, I think the biggest capability that we provide is our software-defined uh, solution. With Smart Files, customers can start with a single node virtual edition cluster, uh, which could be on the edge. Uh, it could be used uh, for their POCs to do some functional testing and uh, get familiar with what the solution is. If they have larger capacity needs, they can start with a three node cluster, which could be at the appliance of their choice. Uh, it could be a Cohesity appliance. It could be on a third party vendor like Fujitsu, Cisco, HP, Lenovo, and there are you know a lot of other vendors who we work with. And when their capacity needs grow, they can scale that three node cluster to you know how many over number of nodes that they need. And finally, if they have cloud first mandate or if they have any need to spin up a cluster in the cloud, then we have cloud addition for smart files where they can take a node, deploy it in the cloud or public cloud of their choice. This could be GCP, it could be AWS, it could be Azure, and analyze the data using an application in the cloud, take the data, move it to on-prem, keep it in the cloud, or just expunge it. And these are some of the ways in which we remove that complexity and remove the silos and provide end-to-end -end workflow wherever they are deploying their cluster. Got it. Let's talk about the second challenge, sure. which is uh, all about data lifecycle management. Yeah. So IT organizations are using multiple manual processes to achieve data lifecycle management from cradle to grave. And those manual processes can lead to human error, yeah. and that can lead to compliance risk. And another complication is that many file and object platforms have certain limitations in terms of their ability to integrate with all of the leading public cloud services that are available. And what that means is IT and business goals sometimes can't be aligned. Yeah. And, and so that's a problem. How do, so, how do smart files solve that problem? So there are a couple of ways in which we do it. And first of them is recognizing that a lot of customers might not only have QCD smart files in their infrastructure, they might also have some third party NAS systems uh, where they need more performance and where they only want to store the hot data. Some of these systems are very, very expensive. And uh, in that case, we have capability called smart tier, where once the data becomes warm or cold, and when they don't need to keep it on this expensive NAS, we have the capability based on the down tiering policies where customers can define that after a certain age or when the files are of certain size, they have not been accessed, we can take that data, suck it into a smart files using smart tier, and keep it on less expensive compared to this uh, expensive NAS on smart files. Got it. And from here, if they want to move the data 
to cloud for even you know more cheaper storage, for example, uh, say Glacier, they can use cloud tier capability to move the data from on-prem smart files into the cloud. Or they could also use Cloud Archive, where if they are taking snapshots on smart files for, say, SMB or NFS, they can define that after a certain number of days, take these snapshots and move them to the public cloud. And finally, we have Cloud Replicate, where for DR or compliance purposes, they can create a cluster in the cloud and they can specify uh, or replicate the data between on-prem and that in the cloud cluster using Cloud Replicate. So these are some of the ways in which we make sure that data lifecycle is taken care of from cradle to grave. Got it. Yeah. So let's revisit Smart Tier, yeah. which sounds pretty interesting. Uh, usually, you need a third-party application, which is pretty expensive, to move data from NAS devices to another another location. Yeah. This is Smart Tier is built in, right? There's no absolutely. Added cost. It is part of Smart Files. You don't need an additional license for that, and it saves a lot of cost that they don't have to pay for expensive migration tools or data movers. Got it. Great. Let's talk about the third challenge, yeah. management complexity. So in any data center, uh, you're more than likely going to see multiple applications and solutions in use. All of those applications and solutions have individual interfaces, and managing data across multiple interfaces is just simply inefficient. Yeah. How does smart files make multi-cloud management more efficient? That's where Helios comes in. It is our single pane of glass that provides you with the management capability across the clusters. You can take multiple clusters, add them in Helios, and that helps you to monitor whatever is going on in your complete infrastructure across different smart files clusters. And more than that, not only smart files, in Helios, customers can also manage other services that Quasity provides, like data protection, mm -hmm. site continuity, and that helps with the visibility across these different uh, services and products that we provide. And they can also look at all the other apps which are running as part of Marketplace, which we will talk about in uh, other videos and delve deeper into that. Great, so a single interface to manage all Absolutely. of the data services. Yeah. That's fantastic. So we've just talked about some of the capabilities that Smart Files delivers with respect to multi-cloud simplicity. If you want to learn more about Smart Files, we invite you to visit the Cohesity website and the Smart Files webpage uh, where you can learn more about the product. And then you can also subscribe to Cohesity's YouTube channel where you can learn how Smart Files enables intelligent data management and active cyber defense. Thank you.